there. This is another video on the Dreamweaver interface. This one is going to focus on the insert toolbar, one of the four major elements when you first open up uh, Dreamweaver to start work with it. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the insert bar in a little more detail. You will notice that there are various tabs across the top of the insert bar. The common tab, the layout tab, forms, data, spry, text, and favorites. For the purposes of this course, you will probably not use all of these tabs. Uh, some of them go beyond the uh, domain of uh, introductory course to class to Dreamweaver. But let's take a look uh, at how this, the functionality of the insert bar works. For example, when I click on the common tab, you'll see a set of icons appear underneath. And if I hover over any one of these, it will also give me a little pop-up that will tell me what that functionality is for that icon. So in this case, I'm hovering over the hyperlink, which will allow me to create links uh, to other web pages uh, in text. This is an email link. For example, it'll allow you to use text to create a link that will open up an email application and allow uh, the user to send an email to a particular address. So each one of these are fairly self-explanatory um, if you just hover over them to find out what they mean. Uh, some of them even have additional pull-down menus, and uh, in most cases, we're not going to use uh, those during the course of this class either. Um, an another one that you are likely to use quite a bit is the text tab. And here, after you highlight certain text, you will be able to perform actions on them. Some of them relate to formatting the text, like bold and italic. Some of them relate to... Um, creating, uh, adding HTML tags to text that you've uh, already added. For example, creating a heading for a selection of text you have. Or doing, creating a, a list, either an unordered or an ordered list. And you'll learn more about what that means in the, uh, over the period of this class as well. One of the things that may be of particular interest to you is the Favorites tab. This will allow you to customize uh, those icons that you use a lot in the uh, in the, your course of the work with Dreamweaver. Uh, so as you can see it says control click to customize your favorite objects. On a Mac you would control click uh, but on a PC you could right click or if you have a two button mouse on a Mac as I have here you can uh, right click as well and then you choose customize favorites. And what this will allow you to do it gives you the full range of all the tabs and all the objects in each one of those tabs so you can create in effect your own tab of those that you use most frequently. Okay so let's see how we go about creating um, favorite links under the favorite tab. It's really very straightforward as you can see from the uh, menu choices here. Those uh, tags that you want to add to your favorite menu you simply highlight and then click on the right pointing arrows. Um, so we've added a hyperlink tag and the email link tag and the named anchor tag. Um, you can also um, pick and choose. You don't have to go down the list one by one. And let's go down and jump down to where we're doing text formatting. We might want to separate these by a separator. So it even has the capability to add a separator in. And then we can add the tag, say, for bold and italic and paragraph. So I forgot to do that. Let's do that. And we've got it. If we end up adding one that we don't want to have on there, let's say we decide we're not going to use block quotes that much, you simply click on the trash can and pull it away. And when you've all finished, then you simply click on OK. And you'll notice now under the favorite tabs, you've got all the icons representing those that we've added to the favorites menu. Of course, some people always prefer to use the menu choices rather than the insert bar and you, if you're one of those types you can simply click on the insert uh, menu choice and then go and find the objects that you want. Everything that's in the insert bar is also here. The problem is, is that I find it's a lot easier to use the insert bar because it's better to be using uh, for me a one-click step rather than having to choose from a submenu or even a submenu from a submenu. So, that's my personal preference, but you can use whichever way you want. 
Um, the other thing to know is, is that if you accidentally close the insert bar, there is an escape hatch that will get it back for you, and it's pretty straightforward. So don't panic if and when that happens. Just go to the window menu and select insert, and voila, there it is back again for you. So that pretty much wraps it up for our introduction to the insert bar. As with any of these videos, feel free to play it again as you, as you need to make sure you understand everything. And be sure to check out the other videos on the Dreamweaver interface too, so that you have a complete understanding of everything uh, related to the interface on Dreamweaver, because it can be complex, especially for first-time users. So until the next video, I'll see you later.